The European Union was a noble dream in the last century, but today it has failed. It has turned into a nightmare. If we as a country decide to quit, then we're out for good. There's no going back. What benefits are there for small business owners of remaining in the EU, as I can't see any? We wouldn't have a seat at the table. And if we wanted to trade in the EU, the other countries could put on tariffs and taxes. The in campaigner, the chair of the in campaign, so Stuart Rose from Marks and Spencers, he said, it's not going to be a step change or somebody's going to turn the lights out. And then he went off very, very importantly, wages will go up. We are the world's fifth okay. biggest economy, yes, and most economies can agree free trade deals within two years. The European Union is taking 10 years or never at all. Why? Because 28 member states cannot even organise a takeaway curry, let alone what they're going to do on free right, trade fine. with the rest of the world. All right. They lied about the cost mm -hmm. of Europe. They lied about Turkey's entrance to Europe. They lied about the European army because we've got a veto over that. They've put these in their leaflets and they've lied about this here tonight too. And it's not good enough. You deserve the truth. You deserve the truth. My family and I have had first-hand experience recently with the NHS. How would it manage if we left the EU, given the UK's inability to train and retain sufficient doctors and nurses? What we think should happen is an Australian-style, points-based system. You might start off with Tarachu saying how wonderful immigration is, but your campaign hasn't been Project Fair. It's been Project Hate, as far as immigration is concerned. Is it a coincidence that the longest period of peace in European history has happened at the same time as the emergence of the European Union? When the head of Europol, who's a Brit, says we're safer in the EU, I listen. When the head of MI5 and MI6 says we're safer in the EU, I listen. And when all of our major allies, America, Canada, Australia and New Zealand, say we're safer in the EU, I listen. And if it comes to a choice, if it comes to a choice to listening to all of these people, even if they're experts, or listening to these three about who keeps my family safe, I'm going to vote for them every single day of the week and twice on a Sunday. Right. Don't risk it. But as long as the European Union keeps trying to copy what NATO does, if the countries across Europe are not paying their 2% of the GDP, which is the NATO contribution, we will be weakening it. But and stay and fight, don't quit. Miss Stay well, and persuade our allies to pay the 2%. Actually, Why are you a quitter? Okay. We're better than that. Okay. We can do it. Sadiq, Sadiq, we heard, be we, heard, proud. we heard earlier that the Prime Minister was meant to have got a deal. That a deal amounted to absolutely nothing. It's temporary. Britain is better off in. You are better off in. There is nothing, there is nothing more positive than having a stronger economy, supporting jobs and opportunities. And that's why I believe you should vote Remain. Thank you. If we vote Leave and take back control, I believe that this Thursday can be our country's Independence Day.